Oh, you good doggies. I'm a person who is really in love with the living world. More and more, I perceive it as a miraculous existence. You can't feel things if you haven't touched them and been immersed in them. I'm trying to be one of the people who's been there and brought the story back. I would describe Carl as an unapologetic spokesperson for the natural world. Oh my God. At his base. Hello, you. Carl is enthralled with the huge variation of life that has managed to bloom over the course of a couple of billion years. He is a MacArthur Fellow and one of the 100 notable conservationists of the 21st century. But Carl Safina's love for the natural world began as a child in Brooklyn, and he has fought on its behalf ever since. Early in his career as a biologist, Safina focused his efforts on the ocean, leading successful campaigns to ban high-sea drift nets and a reform of the federal fisheries law. Since 2003, the Safina Center has been a catalyst for critical conservation efforts through an engaging blend of science, art, and literature. Does my dog really love me, or does she just want a treat? Carl is able to really look at the big picture and describe and summarize these complex issues or systems very effectively. He's really able to sort of engage people and make them concerned about these questions. It gets you in the gut, and that's where you need it. If I was fighting for my life, and I had to pick one person on this planet to represent me in the human court of public opinion, I think I would choose Carl Safina because I think he's that good of a communicator and a storyteller. Safina is the author of seven books and essays appearing in National Geographic, Time Magazine, and The New York Times. He has become known as an author with a rare talent for telling stories that spark real-world change. People pick up Carl's books. It's a doorway into another world that many people wouldn't step through otherwise. Whether it's the plains of Kenya, watching elephants go by as if you're standing next to him, or scuba diving in the ocean, it transports you to be a part of the experience. Safina's latest book is a bold attempt to narrow the gap between humans and animals. In Beyond Words, What Animals Think and Feel, Safina explores animal cognition and emotion, providing a rare glimpse into the inner lives of our earthly companions. So much of what has gone on in the last, particularly the last 150 years, is the delegitimization of other animals and plants' rights to have a fair share of this planet. Their voice is being denied. I think he realizes that that voice needs to be restored or put into the dialogue. He's trying to get us to pay attention so that these species are still around five years, 10 years, 100 years from now. Not only do elephants know that there are humans, they know that there are different kinds of humans and that some are okay and some are dangerous. I'm trying to show more than ever that other creatures have valid existences, that they value their lives, but we have to want to let them live. They can't exist if we don't value them. The main thing that we have to do right now is to create a values change that is almost spiritual, that is deeply about the idea that we want to exist with life on this living planet.